and welcome to another edition of my LJ's Growing Up series. Last time I talked about my friend Ted, but I don't think I mentioned that uh, his last name happened to be Harvey, which is the same as the town we lived in. So of course from that moment on, uh, he became Sir Ted Walter Harvey the Great, Earl of Harvey. Now as far as we know, Ted's family had nothing to do with the name of the town or had any connection with that, but it was just kind of a coincidence and it was kind of fun uh, growing up with uh, Ted, Harvey, and Harvey. Ted uh, is one year younger than me, so if I was about five when we met, he was about four. So uh, remembering things that young, a little bit difficult, but I do remember, and this may have been maybe 1948, maybe we were six years old, or I was six or something, seven. But the Harveys got the first television on the block, seven inch black and white TV. I mean, everybody on the entire block stopped by the house to see that TV. And that became, along with going to the show and watching movies, Westerns became our passion. I mean, we just loved cowboys. And we loved all the, um, the, the, the normal cowboys that anybody would watch in those days, of course, was um, uh, Hopalong Cassidy, uh, Roy Rogers, Gene Autry, uh, those kind of cowboys. But our cowboys, the ones we liked the most, were a little bit different. We liked the Durango Kid, Wild Bill Elliott, and of course, Wild Bill Elliott also played Red Rider with Little Beaver. And to us, the only Red Rider was Wild Bill Elliott. So um, another one that we like is Lash LaRue and of course Zorro. And Zorro, the only one we liked, had to be played by Gilbert Rowland, who I think may have been, uh, before he did that, he may have been a silent movie star, I'm not sure. But because we liked cowboys, we never left the uh, house unarmed. We were completely armed at all times because you never knew when you would have to play cowboys outside. So if you didn't have your guns, you were out of luck. So we always carried our guns. Some of us carried two guns. I think Ted had a holster set with two guns. I for sure had one and we both had a whole toy box full of different kinds of guns. Pistols and uh, mainly pistols, cap pistols, but we didn't use caps. We had found a way to, we like making the noise of the gun ourselves. And I don't know if I can still do it, it was something like this. <coughs> so that's how we did it. Now I can remember, I was always playing guns, whether it was uh, cowboys and guns, whether it was uh, with Ted or without, I would do it by myself if I didn't have anybody to do it with, but I can remember one time when uh, one of my mother's friends had come over uh, to the house and of course I was playing guns. I was running around in the living room shooting and going pew, pew. And the lady said to my mom, boy, are you going to take him to the doctor and do something about that cough? <laughs> she got a pretty big kick out of that and I still remember it to this day. <laughs> so that little seven inch TV that Ted had was just amazing. Uh, it would just mesmerize Ted's dad and Ted. If, if the TV was on and they were in the room, they were completely enthralled and uh, Mr. Harvey, Ted's dad, would be watching TV, Ted would walk directly in front of him. I mean, just block the TV and just become hypnotized by it. And pretty soon his dad would say, Ted, and nothing happened. Ted. A few minutes later, he'd, he'd still be staring at Ted's back and say, Ted, move. And finally, after a while, Ted would finally, uh, oh, and move. But I used to get the biggest kick out of that <laughs> because they would just be hypnotized by the TV. And some of the things we used to watch were uh, wrestling, of course, that was very big. Uh, and they used to broadcast stock car races from the local stock car racing track. And I can remember my mom 
uh, coming over to the Harveys and we would all be watching uh, stock car racing on TV and of course it was probably a dirt track and it would be a big collision in the corner and all kinds of dust and I can remember my mother going waving trying to get the dust out of the way so she could see <laughs> but of course in those days we didn't just sit in the house and watch TV uh, the newness wore off fairly soon on us we wanted to be outside playing and that's what we did so those days of playing outside that's what I want to talk about next in the next video some of the things we did the fun we had and I think that we did things that kids just don't do anymore at least I don't see it so I'm going to talk about that in the next video I hope you'll join me